Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the GameSir F2 Fire Stick Grip. So this is on Gearbest for just under £10. So an affordable price for most people. So it comes in this uh, black plastic box with a sleeve. And on here, there's a few instructions on how to use the device. Let's have a look what it looks like. Right, so at the top here, um, if you see my previous videos, I've had these before. These are the, the L1 and R1 triggers. But the other thing that's different is this contraption here. It's foam, padded foam. Not bad packaging. So have a look at this. This says Game Sir on there. And pull them apart like that. So this is one side of the device and in here and then this leg just pulls out like that. So you can also see on the bottom there R, so that is for the right hand side. Let's do the same with the left hand side. Like that. Okay, so you see these little slots at the end there. So I believe they slot in. like that okay okay so this is what we have at the moment and but you're thinking how are you going to fit a larger phone in there well watch this grab it and pull just like that and slide your phone in and this controller fits phones from 4.5 to 6.4 inches. So let's pop the pixel in there, shall we? Okay, so the pixel is in there. This is a 5.5 inch smartphone. Let's have a look at the back. Okay, feels sturdy. And that feels really, really good to hold as well. Doesn't feel clumsy or cumbersome. These grips at the back make it feel a hell of a lot comfortable when holding the phone. When the triggers are on, it feels a lot easier activating them as well, I'd imagine. And another question which I know you're gonna ask can you charge it while using this controller? Because by the looks of this, the charging point is blocked. But there at the bottom, there is a cutout. So yes, you can charge while playing. So let's just try and plug in a cable now. Yeah. Will it get in the way? No, it shouldn't do. That still feels okay like that. You have to have the cable through like that. But no, yeah, you can still, still play while it's charging. Let's just sit that on there a moment and let's have a look at these triggers. I imagine they're gonna be exactly the same as the other triggers I've used. But all this for just under 10 pound. So I'd say is a reasonably good price. So we have the clear see-through plastic ones with the metal triggers, which I do prefer. They do feel much better. Much better indeed. Okay, we're in. Let me quickly set these triggers on. We'll get into a quick game and have a look. So the fire button and the aim button are already there from previously when I used to set it up. So it should just be a case of sliding them on and clicking them into place. That's what it looks like from the side, guys. It doesn't get in the way of the 
the grip here sits down just nice. So that's the fire one in place. Let's do the same for the aim. Let's spin it around. There we go. It's on. Both are on. That feels good. Now the thing I've just noticed obviously is the volume is at the top there and the power button, that's just above the power button. So I'm just gonna quickly take it off and swing it upside down. I don't wanna to accidentally touch, turn the power button on. And now we're definitely good to go. Save. Information is saved. Exit. Let's jump into a game. Okay, so we're in. Waiting for the match to start. The fire button is working. Let's take you around here again, look guys. Let's a quick look around. The back of the device, triggers, we're in a good place, they're not hindering anything. Feels comfortable to hold there, it's looking good. And I have landed. Oh yes, I have myself a gun. Aim, fire. Oh shit, go away. Aha. No. Where's it gone? Oh. How close do I have to get? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I've killed two people. Um, it's been fairly easy. I'd say. It's a lot easier 
when using this controller grip here as well as the the triggers on top as well it does make it easier I don't play a lot of um, PUBG Whoa. There he is, he's up the top there, isn't he? Where's he gone? What are you doing? So I've got a few kills there. I need to sort out the other layout of my buttons here. Like I don't need that fire button there because I keep accidentally pressing that. Where's that coming from? Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. There's still 70 people alive there at the top. Uh, still a fair way to go. Uh, I think the controller with these grips do make it a lot easier when you're using these triggers on when using PUBG. It's a lot more to hold, it's more comfortable. And these triggers are good. Responsive. And once you get used to them, you should be flying. Yeah, but like only like 10 quid. Just under ten pound, you can charge it as well. You can charge it as well while playing. It expands up to six point four inch smartphones from four point five to six point four. Any questions, guys? Please comment below. Give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.